Hey guys, in this video I'm going to play a tune called The Mount Road. Uh, it's a good standard session tune, which I honestly can't believe I've never recorded before. Uh, it's one I've been playing for years, and I thought it'd make a good lesson. It's a good simple tune, one that's bound to come up more often than not. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to be doing the drawing for the F whistle that I gave away in the last video. So stick around for that. If you made a comment on the last video, uh, you'll be in the drawing. And I also want to say thanks so much for everybody who participated in that. I got uh, like 150 some odd comments, which is pretty cool pushing past 5,000 subscribers. So again, thank you for that. That's awesome. Never thought I'd get there. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to play the mountain road, break it down, and we'll do the drawing at the end. So stick around. One thing you may have noticed about that tune is it's A, B, A, B, as opposed to A, A, B, B. Now, I have heard people play it A, A, B, B. Uh, from my experience, it's just a little bit more common playing each part once. So that's how I tend to do it. That's how we play it at the sessions that I go to. Um, again, I have heard it the other way. It's one of those you just kind of want to feel out what everybody else is doing and uh, follow along as best you can. It's not really a wrong way to do it. That's just kind of how I played it. So here we go, basic melody. Break that down. And again, it's a real simple tune, so hopefully you shouldn't have too much trouble picking this one up. Right, that's the whole thing, and that just repeats. V part starts in the high D. There. Second part's almost the same. Second half, rather, is almost the same. Another round of the A part again. So, again, pretty basic melody, and because it's a short reel, hopefully, you'll be able to pick it up pretty fast. Uh, the ornaments, uh, if you listen to my ornaments video on when, where, and why, you hopefully heard a couple of those spots. Specifically, right off the bat, it starts out with that uh, the quarter note on the F sharp. So instead of that, every time you get those, I tend to do a short reel. In that case, I'm doing a triple reel, I guess. Um, so what that is, you don't have to. Short reel works fine. Kind of do either one. I just happen to like the sound of the triple reel. So uh, then to finish it up. So a couple of things that I'm doing there: uh, the the finger bounce thing, the the crossing noise. Uh, uh, so that's the one on the E. Then again, roll there. And then I do the crossing noise on the A. So that's what I'm doing there. Uh, when you get to that high D, it's a long note, you can do a crown uh, or, or a triplet. Kind of works the same way, it's just get the same effect. And again, triple rolls, single roll, uh, double roll there. And again, I do a triplet to get back to the D. That's one of those things that I mentioned in that other video. Anytime you're jumping up to the D, it's usually a good spot you can throw in a triplet if you want to. And again, that part's the same as on the A part. So 
play around with that one. Again, it's one that's very likely to come up at a session. It's a good standard tune. Uh, a lot of folks play it. It tends to pop up pretty often and uh, hasn't been worn out to the point of being beat to, beaten to death, anyway, at least uh, where I play. So I do still like it. So check it out. Uh, see what you think. Let me know in the comments. And uh, right now, we're going to go check out the, the uh, contest winner. So stick around for that right now. All right, here we go, guys. I got my video link copied in there. We've got 94 options, 94 people who entered, which is pretty cool. Thank you for that. Let's see what happens here. And Mark McClellan. All right, Mark, I'm going to hit you up on the comments, and uh, we'll get in touch. We'll trade contact info, and I'll get you the whistle shipped off. So congratulations, man. Bye-bye.